Can you hear me? I uh, want to thank you all for being here for this special occasion. I never really gave my blessing to this marriage because I don't like Bob. <laughs> he's, he's too nice, too much of a gentleman, too much character. Just, I just don't know what Jenny sees in him after she's, you know. <laughs> but we just want you all to just be praying for him. Bless this marriage. It's going to be exciting to see what happens with these two. I've waited lifetimes for this to happen. You light me up. You set the sun You bring the crowd down to one I dream of you in the morning Until the day is done And then again Jenny, you've been one of those people that have always seemed to have a smile on your face. Not just because you probably just got away with something, but because you have a genuine love for life and a love for other people. You're also a woman of conviction, and your faith is very important to you, and it has always been your guide to get you to this point. It has gotten you to where you are today. It is what has enabled you to keep yourself pure and to save yourself for this man that you're about to marry. You are the spring, you are the fall. When Bobby asked me to be his best man, it was in a text. <laughs> and so I looked at that text and I'm like, I would be honored. And then he later on told me the date, August 2nd. And I was thrilled. I was thinking, that's great, that's wonderful. Bobby, that's Sturgis Week. So I, of course, immediately took my time to think about wedding Sturgis. Wedding Sturgis. Wedding my older brother Sturgis. Um, I can't stand up here and take your time and describe everything Bobby's done in his life or Jim. I was hoping to have a great speech for you because reality is Bobby's the best in the family for speeches. I was waiting for my inspiration to come. I was waiting for the words to come. And I'm still waiting. All my life I've waited for this moment now In your eyes Finally I know my sweetheart. Bob, you are my sunshine. I, I thank God, God for you, for you every day. day. Today I ask you to be my wife. Today I ask you to be my husband. You are my, you best, are my friend, best friend and partner. faithful partner. I, I promise, promise to fill our lives with God, God laughter, family, family, and friends. I promise, I promise to encourage you and inspire you and, and to be honest and faithful to you. I will forever be there for you. you. Through, Through good times and bad, I will love you unconditionally through all of our lives together.
job when I think about you? I think about someone who is steady, someone who is faithful. You're a man of principle who is always very loyal to what you say and what you believe. You are a very humble and meek person, but not a pansy. You're like a gentle giant, kind of like Goliath, only you survived the attack. But you as well, you have a happiness that just seems to radiate from you and you affect everyone that you know. One of the things that I admire most about you is your commitment to honor Jenny's convictions. You respected her desires to wait until after marriage to enjoy intimacy. You loved her enough to wait. And that's, that's a very rare thing these days. That speaks volumes about the man that you are. I'd like to ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. Take care of her, always. All right. Bob and Jenny, I've known both of you for quite a while now. And, and being a part of your lives, I've been thrilled to be asked to come and, and share this moment with you guys today. The covenant which you two are both about to make is meant to be a beautiful and sacred expression of your love for each other. As you pledge your vows to each other and you commit your lives to one another, do so in that same seriousness with the deep conviction that you are committing yourselves to a dynamic and growing and changing relationship of trust, mutual support, and sacrificial love. The solemn vows which you guys are about to take are to be kept permanently. There is no quit option in this vow before us and before God and one another. We have these two vials of sand here. And before, before both of you were individuals, you had your life that represented your dreams, your lives, your futures, and your families. And now these two containers of sand, they will be joined together in a unique blend. It's gonna be put together in a way that will have no longer two individuals, it will be one new combined unit. The last time I talked to Jenny about planning her wedding, we decided that it was gonna be purple and yellow, but she didn't really like that idea, so she chose purple and silver. I also decided dandelions would be her best flower, but she didn't like that either. I was also five when we talked about this, so that kind of makes a difference. Um, I wish you would have taken my opinion into account a little more. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, but overall, this wedding has been so beautiful and I'm so happy to be a part of it and have such a wonderful aunt who's been a part of my whole life since the day I was born. Robert, do you take Jennifer to be your wife, to promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Jennifer, do you take Robert to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a token of this commitment to each other? You can place it on her finger and then repeat after me. You were my yesterday. You were my yesterday. You are my today. You are my today. And you will be my tomorrow. And you will always be my tomorrow. All that I am. All that I am. 
life. I give to you. I give to you. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my love and life to you. I pledge my love and life to you. You are my yesterday. You are my yesterday. <laughs> you are my today. You are my today. And you will be my tomorrow. And you will be my tomorrow. All that I am. All that I am. I give to you. I give to you. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my love. I pledge my love. And life to you. And life to you. So Bob and Jenny, as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony and have promised your love for each other by these vows and the giving of these rings and the joining of your hands, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Bob, you may kiss the bride. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have the ring. <laughs> I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Robert Clark. Apprehensive of Jenny going on that first date with you. <laughs> and when she told me about it, I might have gone a little sister crazy on her and asked for all of the details of exactly what was going on, where she was going, who was this guy. And I was fairly sure that you were crazy. <laughs> but Jenny needs somebody a little bit crazy to enjoy this roller coaster of life with her. Amen, we made it this far 
my brother, even when he snores at night, <laughs> even when he sleeps on the couch when he's watching TV, just leave him like we do. <laughs> when you're driving down the road and he falls asleep in the car, the best thing I've found is to get behind a semi and scream and look like you're hitting your brakes just to wake him up. <laughs> it works really well. He'll go back to sleep afterwards, but it's fine. It's normal. All I know is Bobby's extremely happy and is looking forward to spending the rest of his life with Jen and growing old and wherever that might take them, whatever roads they might go across in the, what, eight, 10 years, 11, dating, 15 to come to this point. <laughs> so from the bottom of my heart, I welcome our new sister-in-law, and I can't imagine him picking anyone better and more beautiful. I'm very excited for you both to start your lives together, and I am excited that I get to be a part of it, and I love you both. I love you, Auntie Jenny, and I've been waiting forever to say this. Welcome to the family, Uncle Bob. We wish you guys the best life from here on out. And we're all here to support and be there for you. We love you. To the bride and groom. Congratulations.